Welcome to LeapFrog BI Academy video training series on dimensional modeling. In this video, we're going to be covering snowflake and outrigger dimensions. So let's start with snowflake dimensions. A snowflake dimension is a dimension that's been normalized, meaning we have a dimension that probably has um, a hierarchy of attributes of some sort, and those attributes have been placed each in separate dimensions, which have then been related via foreign keys. We're going to look at an example of that in a moment, but uh, before we get started, we should say that the snowflaking and dimensional modeling is not something that's recommended. And that's because it complicates the model. Obviously, we end up with a, a lot more dimensions that have to be uh, related together whenever our business users are trying to interact with the data. And it also puts a, a, a significant amount of stress on the ETL system, which has to maintain those dimensions. Here's a quick example. We have a fact table with a product foreign key, which of course is pointing to our product dimension. Then that product dimension is pointing to a subcategory dimension, which in turn is pointing to a category dimension. This is a, a normalized dimension or a snowflake dimension. Uh, and you can see pretty easily here why it would be quite a bit more complicated to say, filter this fact table by category we have to first relate the sales to the DIM product and then product to DIM subcategory and then subcategory to DIM category. An alternative to this is to simply not snowflake. Here we've got the same capabilities. We can slice by category, subcategory, or product, but we've got one dimension to maintain and also one dimension for the business to um, interact with and join to the fact table. So that's a snowflake dimension. Let's talk about outrigger dimensions. Outrigger dimensions are not fully normalized. They're typically just a relationship between two existing dimensions. And they're only one level removed from the fact table. So you're not going to have an outrigger with a relationship to another outrigger with a relationship to another outrigger and so on. That, if you did, uh, that would more than likely be a snowflake dimension. Outriggers are okay to use. Uh, you don't want to overuse them, but uh, there's a good reason for including them in your model where appropriate. So here's a quick example. It's a fact table again with a relationship to our DIM product. It also has a relationship to our DIM date. But you can see in product, there's a foreign key offer date, which is related to DIM date as well. By adding this foreign key in our product dimension, we're able to uh, query our product dimension without going through the fact table, for example. We could filter out all products that have a offer date within a certain year. That could be resolved without ever going through our fact table. Okay, there you have it. That's our Snowflake and Outrigger Dimension video. Thank you for joining me in this video. I look forward to seeing you in future videos.